Yo, what's up, you guys? Today, I'm going to share with you a dope Neville Goddard story that reveals a trick, this one technique that'll speed up your manifesting. Guaranteed. Okay, here's the story. There was this one artist that Neville knew whose works were actually in national galleries. But even though she was really good, there was a problem. She was starving. Like, seriously. She was so broke, she couldn't even buy food, which was sad. Anyway, one night she was so tired, she couldn't even walk to the WCA to offer her services for a meal. Instead, she stretched out on her couch and said, Lord, you said if I believe, all things would be possible. Well, I believe that I'm well fed. And then she heard, not audibly, it was more like an impression, these words. If you really believed as you claim, wouldn't you prepare the table for the meal? And so, that's what she did. Where, in her imagination, not physically, but in her imagination, she began to set the table. She put on her best tablecloth, her nicest plates, and even lit a candle in preparation of the food to come. She literally felt these objects while imagining, and she fell asleep touching them and began to dream. And as she lifted the cover from a beautiful platter filled with food, she heard a ring that kept on going until she woke up and realized it was her telephone. And the caller was a friend of her mom, whom she hadn't seen in years. Check this out. The lady said, Suddenly I have the greatest longing for a meal you prepared for your mother and me several years ago. Would you please do it again tonight if I bring over the ingredients? Huh. What a quinkadink. Now, even though the girl had a kitchen in her apartment, she had no food. So when the friend went to the store, she couldn't just buy a cup of flour or sugar, right? So she stocked up on all the basics needed to prepare a meal. And within an hour, just an hour, sticking fast, <laughs> she was in the artist's home with the food. And later had a delicious dinner of which, even when they were done eating, yeah, there was still enough left over for at least two more meals. Boom. Then she got greedy and was like, hey. If I let you use my kitchen, can you bring me food every day for the rest of my life? I'm just playing. <laughs> but there really was enough food for at least two more meals. Abundance. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. Coincidence? Would have happened anyway? I don't think so. I mean, think about it. A friend calls her up out of the blue that she hasn't seen in years. In years. All of a sudden, wants to treat her to a meal? The timing of it all. Imagining creates reality, you guys. Don't ever forget that. But that's not saying you just imagine what you want in your head and that's it. It'll manifest. Ah, dude, did you catch it in the story? The secret is this. Ready? Neville says you must raise your imagination. Listen. To the state of vision. To the state of vision. Meaning you simply add sensation to it. That'll do the trick. Be it sight, sound, scent, taste, or touch. Just like the girl. She felt herself touching the plates, the silverware, the cover of the platter, etc. Just exercise any one of the five senses or a combination of them. Then once you're able to do that, I'm telling you, it's done. It's finished. Folks, know what you want, whether it be more money, a new home, a new car, food you want to eat, places you want to travel to. Then imagine it. Again, not like watching a movie from a distance, okay? But raise your imagination to the state of vision and enter into the scene. Seeing, touching, tasting, smelling, and hearing. Giving it all the tones of reality. Until when? Until you're self-persuaded that what you want is already yours. Even if your outer senses deny it, then just watch. You'll move automatically across a bridge of incident. A series of events that'll unfold right before you. And your imaginal act will become a fact because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. It helps support this channel. And the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, I've spread this message. And if you're new to LOA or manifesting, then go register for my free online training That'll seriously help you to start creating the life you really want right now. So check it out. Link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.